Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kisiedu. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I'm going to discuss the decimal system, part two, fraction decimal conversions. In the whole number place value chart, each position is 10 times as large as the position to its immediate right. Looked at another way, each position is one-tenth of the value of the position to its immediate left. We saw in part one that periods above units continue indefinitely. The periods below units are also without end. The first five places to the right of units are tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and hundred thousandths. A decimal fraction is a fraction whose denominator is a multiple of 10. 3 over 10, 274 over 1,000, 3,127 over 10,000 are three examples of decimal fractions. Decimal numerals are written with a decimal point to separate the whole number part of the number from the part that is less than a whole. A mixed decimal is a number that has a whole number part and a decimal fraction part. A decimal number is read as if it were a whole number, but includes the fractional name of the lowest place. The decimal point is read AND, or point. The number 47.392 is a mixed decimal. The whole number part is 47, and the part that is less than a whole is 0 0.392. To write a decimal in expanded form means to write the number as the sum of each digit as a multiple of a power of 10, and or a fraction that is a multiple of a power of 10. So 47.392 in expanded form is 4 times 10, plus 7 times 1, plus 3 over 10, plus 9 over 100, plus 2 over 1000. In this decimal place value chart, we have a rather large decimal number that runs into the billions on the whole number side and stretches to nearly as many digits after the decimal point. The number spans from billions to billionths. The number in the place value chart can be expressed in partially expanded form by writing the part that is less than a whole in expanded form. The number is read 2,769,926,355 and 301,179,326 billionths. The number 0 0.5217729 would be read 5,217,000. 729 10 millionths, and the number 0 0.766344313695 would be read 766,344,313,695 trillionths. When converting numbers between decimal and fraction forms, the number of zeros written between the decimal point and the one, when a number is expressed in decimal form, is one less than the number of zeros written after the one in the denominator when expressed in fraction form. If we are given the nine digits 3, 9, 6, 2, 7, 9, 1, 5, 0, and a decimal point, and asked to write the smallest possible number using only these nine digits once, the procedure is similar to what we used in part one for whole numbers. But in this case, we should place all of the digits in ascending order after the decimal point. And we get 12,356,799 billionths. This number starts with the decimal point, but it is understood that there is a zero before it, meaning that the whole number value of the number is zero. The largest possible number would be 10 times as large as the result from part one. 997,653,000 210.0. That there are no digits after the decimal point indicates that the value of a decimal or fractional part of the number is zero. Moving a decimal point to the right increases the value of a number. Moving it to the left decreases its value. To determine the relative size of two decimal numbers, compare the values of each digit in the numerator after writing them in terms of the same denominator. To arrange 0 0.3, 0 0.03, 0 0.31, and 0 0.13 in order of decreasing size, 
First, write each number as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, then compare the numerators. Since 3 is less than 13, which is less than 30, which is also less than 31, in order of decreasing value, we have 31 over 100, 30 over 100, 13 over 100, and 3 over 100. So 0 0.31 is larger than 0 0.3, which is larger than 0 0.13, which is larger than 0 0.03.